In this video, I'm going to be showing you lot how to make hard counter snare patterns step by step. This is going to be the easiest video you can find on YouTube. So yeah, let's get into it. be showing you lot step by step how you can achieve something similar so if by some miracle you don't already know this is like the standard drill rhythm now if you choose to you can keep it like this i have beats that i've made where i've kept the rhythm just like that and it still sounds good you don't always have to do too much you can keep it simple but i'm just going to be showing you lot in this video how you can add a little bit more sauce to it you know what i'm saying so step one being the most simple step you want to start off with the standard rhythm here okay so step two you're going to be adding gaps or taking notes out so you're creating little gaps right so i'm going to be showing you lot a few examples that you could do here See what I'm saying? You can literally add a gap in anywhere. Just fuck around with taking different ones out. Different ones will work with different melodies. So literally just play around with it until you get something that you like. Now for step three, you can add these stutter notes or filler notes, I like to call them, and rolls and stuff like that. Now the trick with these is to not overdo it, but only add them where it's necessary, okay? So this is what a filler note is. It's where you put a note just before another one hits and then you put the velocity way down. It adds like a swing to it almost, it, like it leads into the next one. It doesn't always always have to be before a note, it can be after a note as well. See that one, it, it doesn't sound bad, but I personally wouldn't put it there. I would probably put it... Where would I put it? Okay, so that's the filler notes. And then you want to add some rolls in as well. So the idea that I've got for a roll, I'm going to add one here. So I'm going to extend that note out so that it connects with the next one. And you want to highlight the note and press Alt and U. So that'll bring up the chopper, yeah? And then you can just use this little knob to change how chopped it's making the note. I'm going to try and put it all the way down so that you see it chops it into these tiny little notes. Once you press OK, yeah, it will keep it selected. So now what you want to do, keep it selected like this. Hold the right click on your mouse, drag it from the first note down here. And you basically, you can look, you can create like a line however you drag your mouse is going to change it right hold right click while you're doing this i'm going to do it like this so it's not too obvious what this will essentially do is it will add like a reverse feeling to it or if you don't like that this is what i'll tend to do it's probably just way quicker than redoing what we just did i'll literally just delete every other note so that it basically just halves the roll see that one sounds better now could either put it there again or to keep it sounding unique so it's not too repetitive for this one over here you can just basically reverse how the velocities are going so instead of it being down to up you put it from up to down like this and then again literally just play around with these rolls until you've got something that you like just remember you don't want to be doing too much it's always better to do less because less is more you don't want to overcomplicate it because then it's going to get too crowded there's not going to be enough room for the artist just keep space okay so that's step three and now for step four which is the last step and probably the most important step for me is changing the velocities so when i say changing the velocities i don't mean just randomly changing the velocities i mean turning certain notes down within the rhythm so that it adds more dynamic movement it adds a bit more swing a bit more rhythm to it it just overall adds to the bounce so here's an example so what i would tend to do with this one right wherever we've got one of these notes where it lands in between these two yeah so for example we've got that one we've got that one we've got that one etc so for every single one of these i'll drop the velocity this is one example of what you can do see how it just adds a bit more movement so again if you don't like how that one's sounding put them all back up and then try something different instead of dropping that middle one you drop the last one instead and again just do the same thing for every single one Yeah, so I like how that one sounds. And now one extra last tip as well I'm gonna give you lot is to pan the notes. Control left click and highlight them all. And then you wanna press Alt and R 
it will bring up this randomizer here and then obviously you want to turn this pattern thing off at the top if you've got it turned on go down here to the levels want to click bipolar and then just mess around with this pan here and you can see that it moves them up and down now personally i wouldn't ever go this far i'd probably keep it literally just around here it just adds a little bit more movement it bounces them from ear to ear so now what i'm going to do is put that pattern that we've just made into the beat that i showed you earlier and you can hear how it's sounding so if you did learn something from this video please do like it subscribe to my channel as well because i'm going to be dropping more tutorial videos like this you know shorter styled ones because you know there's people out there that are trying to learn specific things and you don't want to have to watch a whole 20 minute video to get that just want to watch a quick video put it into practice that's what i'm trying to provide here so yeah if you did learn something please like the video subscribe to my channel and i'm going to catch you in the next one